Okay, folks, we have a sneak peek of what's to come at ChatCon 2021. We have the, I would, I think we can see this at this point now, the infamous Greg Hanley um, from FTF Behavioral Consulting. And there's just amazing work that you all do, um, pushing forward um, humane ABA, today's ABA, uh, really building an ascent into the process and things that we should have been focusing on forever ago, but we have been focusing on right in the literature in, in different ways. So can you just share a little bit about like what sh people should be able to expect um, sure. at ChatCon from you? Sure. Yeah. Well, Ryan, I'm, I'm just excited to be a participant in, in ChatCon and uh, I'm excited to listen to a bunch of the talks. Uh, but as far as my own talk, uh, I just talk about how there's a tendency or maybe even a universal preference for working under conditions of condition contingent reinforcement, uh, preference for working over getting reinforcers for free. And the, the cool thing about that possible universal preference, it, it now allows us to do behavioral interventions under a full ascent model. It allows us to give people the opportunity to vote with their feet and just take off and get all their reinforcers for free because we know there's a tendency to come back and to, and to enter into therapeutic context, which they have to uh, inhibit and yearn and earn the reinforcers. And uh, so that's what I'm going to be talking about. Uh, the, the reason why I love that I'm connecting with ChatCon is because our processes bear uh, uncanny uh, similarity to a lot of what animal trainers do. And, and maybe it's not populated throughout uh, the literature uh, yet, but we have a, a strong reliance on shaping. We're returning to the roots maybe of ABA and, and not uh, to be expeditious using things like po arbitrary positive punishers and um, uh, some heavy duty escape extinction procedures. Instead, there's a little more patience and there's more shaping. And, and that is something I've always appreciated with animal trainers. And then this, this whole notion of full ascent. I mean, animal trainers have been doing this longer than I have. Uh, again, I'll tell a story about the, the chimps at the Washington DC Zoo that leave their home spaces to to go over to their workspaces and they do so uh, uh, kind of on their own and they get free reinforcement in their home space, obviously, but they earn other reinforcers uh, elsewhere. And so there's just this, this similarity between what's going on in ABA practices uh, for kids with autism, for kids uh, with severe problem behavior and, and food selectivity and food refusal, and maybe what's becoming a dominant theme in the animal training world. And so I think it'll be fun to you know, see those similarities, and I hope the dialogue with uh, other people in the space to uh, to expand my understanding of it as well. So links are down below. There is a price increase coming up soon, so you can snag at the cheapest rate, and we will hopefully see you there. Later, y'all.